hello wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information as it is hot uh, in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for uh, kindly hit the subscription button we are on so all social media facebook instagram telegram uh, that's where you can see us let's move down to the news proper as it is hot uh, sit at home order ipob lawyer alloy Ejmako threatens to sue anyone linking Biafra group with violence in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Barrister Aloy Ejimako, special counsel to detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nambi Kano, has threatened to sue anyone accusing the group of causing the violence around the purported sit-at-home incident in the southeastern region of Nigeria. Ejimako said in a tweet on Monday, in which he reinstated his earlier stand that IPOB was a non-violent group, adding that he would do everything within his realm to protect the image of the association. He said, I consider it my core duty to my client MNK and IPOB to say this. MNK and IPOB are still committed to the principles of non-violence. As from today, if you publicly accuse IPOB of using violence to enforce the sit at home, prepare to meet me in court to produce your evidence. In May 2022, Newsman has reported that Aloy Ejimako Nandikano reacted to a viral report by BBC World Service Center around the activities of the group. The BBC report title IPOB. Nigerian media warriors call for killing on social media over Biafra had chronicled events showing how agitators had called for attacks against those considered enemies of the campaign for Biafra independence. According to the BBC report, many of these agitators are currently based outside the country from where they stick violence in Nigeria via their podcast and streaming on social media platforms. The report, which exposed the activities of some individuals, further claimed that some of the media warriors were being paid, either by the IPOB or by their supporters, for the work they do. And we saw other broadcasts in which bank details for IPOB were shared on solicited donations from followers. Reacting, Aloy Ejimako exonerated the group from the claims, stating that the IPOB is represented is he represented had no connection with media warriors calling for killings. Ejimako noted that IPOB had chapters in various countries of the world and is recognized as a self-determination group. He wrote on Twitter, Dear at BBC World, again, the IPOB I represent is registered in the UK. It's led by Mazin Nam Dekanu. It has fixed address and chapters worldwide and it's recognized by nations as a movement, as a non-violent self-determination movement. They are not the media warriors calling for killings over Biafra. Now, people, now don't see um, as it is sub. This one is coming from Aloy Ejimako, the uh, legal council uh, to the indigenous people of Biafra. Let me take you to UAE to see just what is happening outside the shores of this nation. And I believe that you would like to hear that news. The UAE government has ordered a man's arrest uh, over arrogant display of wealth in a viral video. Uh, there is this video that has been trending recently uh, where a man took um, a, a like, you know, a, 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 should I say a bag of money or like huge of dollars, you know, went to where they are selling expensive um, cars, you know, paid for like three of these cars you know, dashed money to the people who were there and the government has ordered his arrest and you can see how white people behave and how they do their things. Even though the money belongs to you, uh, that's not the reason why you should treat it anyhow. Let's go to that news so that you can see what is happening. UAE prosecutors have ordered the arrest of a man who filmed an arrogant social media video inside a luxury car showroom in the country. According to a report by State, Run News Agency 1. The video ins insults and ridicules Emirates society and incites harmful public opinion of citizens. In a viral video described as offending, an Asian man in an Emirate dress is seen attempting to buy 
a $554,000 car while being flanked by people carrying large sum of money. The Federal Prosecution for Combating Rumors and Cyber Crimes ordered the detention of the Asian pending investigation after being accused of abusing the internet in posting exciting propaganda that stirs up the public opinion and harms the public interest. He was also charged with publicizing content that was inconsistent with the media content standard and insulting Emirates society. The statement by the agency noted that the Federal Bureau of Investigation at the UAE Attorney General Office monitored a social media video clip in which the defendant was seen wearing a mirror dress inside a luxury car showroom and followed by two persons carrying what appears to be a large sum of money. The video showed the man talking with the owner of the showroom and arrogantly asking to buy a car valued at more than a two million uh, uh, drahan. He was also shown distributing financial packages to the showroom employees in a way that reveals imprudence and lack of appreciation of the value of money. The video promotes a wrong and offensive mental image of Emirates citizens and really calls them, and then incites and provokes public opinion which harms the public interest. The public prosecution ordered the summoning of the owner of the car showroom in which the aforementioned video clip was filmed. The public prosecution urged the social media users in the UAE to observe the legal and ethical regulations in the media content they publish and to consider social characteristics and embedded value of the UAE society that call for moral commitment in all aspects of behavior so as to avoid falling under the force of the law. <laughs> um, you can see what is happening uh, in UAE. Um, it's not just like... Um, uh, like Nigeria, uh, where everything uh, happens is not lot just like there. Now let's go to the case of this um little Miss uh, who uh, there is who um out of proof has shown that she actually faked her result, a jam result. Uh, but I don't know why she had that momentum and morale, you know, to come to the social media. I even made a video, you know, accusing Jamb of you know uh you know uh, placing her on false accusation uh, she said that jump accused her uh, falsely and now she has been integrated they say in the wake of the face force between miss mesoma EGKM and the joint admission matriculation board in anambra the anambra state commissioner of education professor ngozi chuma ude has reviewed that the 19 year old student could not give any valid reason for her decision to falsely to falsify her unified uh, tertiary matriculation examination result while speaking during an interview on africa independent television kakaki program on monday morning professor chuma ude who was a member of the committee of inquiry consulted by governor charles soludo to unite the truth behind the saga stated that when mesoma was asked to explain why she felt the need to inflate her UTM result, she was unable to provide any possible answer for carrying out the criminal act. Going further, the prof insisted that against popular belief, the young lady's action may not have been a result of poor home training. She said, the human mind is full of complexity and this is one of those cases of being a human being. I think it's a psychological issue. Sometimes people tend to behave ultra vicious and it is not a result of poor parental training because when we asked her why did you forge your result she said nothing so i cannot get a grasp on why she did what she did i can't say but she has, she has done it and that is that human beings do various things but it is just that hers was too obvious and very glaring to the whole public Meanwhile, uh, you have seen as the hot um, the girl finally admitted uh, that she uh, she um you know manipulated the result and when she was being asked uh, to know the reason why she did that she did not give any pl uh, possible reason which led to such action and um of course you can see um, many things has happened 
And I, I think that the government also should tamper justice with mercy.